Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a pagoda red side fan fold. Using a washable marker and a piece of kite string, draw on your pattern. Now you want to pleat along this line, making that line as straight as possible. And these pleats are about three quarters of an inch tall. Once you have your shirt all pleated up, it's time to secure it. And for this project, I'm using the tiny little baby hair rubber bands, but you could also use kite string or other rubber bands. It's just a matter of preference. There's a lot of extra fabric back here and the pleats are becoming quite tall. So what I'm doing now is I'm introducing new pleats into the project. Using a washable marker, mark out your dye pattern. Now it's time for the fun part, we get to add the dye. And for this project, I'm doing the single color Pagoda Red. In case you're new to the channel, I've created a playlist, Dharma's Dye Swatches, and I've started at the top of the list and I'm working my way all the way down to the bottom doing these single colored dyes so we can see what each color is capable of doing when it has ice on it. And I'll tell you guys, I am learning so much by doing these single color dyes and I'm actually finding a lot of value in just single color dyes. They're far prettier than I ever thought they were going to be. So don't forget to check out that playlist. Next, grab a mask and give your project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash. And I focus putting the soda ash only on the areas that had the dye. We don't really need to keep the pH of the white up because we're not trying to dye that area. And then I changed my mind. I was originally going to do an incline ice dye on this and I decided I was worried that the pagoda red would take over the entire shirt. So I decided to dye it flat on the rack. So you need to create yourself some type of an ice barrier. So I went with a tin foil and I just secured it with the clothes pins and I'm adding just a little more dye to the area since I'm not doing the incline. And then you just want to sprinkle on your ice. I 
I came back after a couple of hours and I noticed that there's still quite a bit of dye that's not dissolved. So I decided to add just a little bit more ice and then I'm gonna set it and forget it and I let this shirt batch for 48 hours. It's been 48 hours since the ice has melted and now it's time for the rinse out. So you want to start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fibers and then gradually increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. Now this shirt has white in it so I'm going to make sure to rinse the white areas very well. I want all that soda ash out for sure because I don't want it to have dye back. And then I take it to the washing machine and I did two hot water cycles using Synthropol and I did a third hot water cycle using Millsoft and then I put it in the dryer and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well here it is guys, here's our Pagoda Red side fan fold after it's been washed and dried. And I'll tell you, in the beginning when I first pulled this out of the dryer, I did not like this shirt at all. I felt like the color looked extremely drab and it just didn't have any interest. And I considered making a spiral out of it just to do a side by side to see if maybe the spiral would show the color better. But then I ironed it and it completely changed my mind about this shirt. So that's a little tip that I'll give you guys. If you make a project and you're looking at it and you just don't like it at all before you give up on it or want to throw it in the garbage, iron it. It makes such a difference because when the shirt was all crinkled from the dryer, the colors looked horrible and all the color splits weren't really standing out. But once I ironed it, I could see all those color splits and the color is actually beautiful. It's sort of a reddish, brownish, orangish type color and it splits beautifully. It splits into these orange tones, dark red tones, pinkish sort of mauvish tones, peachy tones. There's a lot going on here in this shirt and it's really beautiful. So I like this color after all. And when you look at these close-ups, you can just see like, look right there. Just look at all those colors, yellow, orange, brown, red, pink. I, I, I love it. And the bigger pleats really do make it look nice. And then right here is the liquid swatch against the ice dye so you can see what both colors look like. So what do you guys think of Pagoda Red? Leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and then click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.